Jaime, Jaime, why do you drink like there's no tomorrow? I know, I should drink like there's no next week. He always apologizes for the noise that nobody can hear but him, and fine, let's just switch things a bit. I'll give you the noise and no apology. At 53 seconds was expecting you to say WTF. WTF? That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. We started off Monday talking about the Gear S2, its price points, and when to expect it, and I asked you if you currently have a smartwatch or if you're planning on getting one. We had 654 comments. We start with Moto 360. I just can't get away from that timeless design, and neither can I. Using Gear S, and it's just an okay experience. Battery life kind of sucks on it, and that's the story of pretty much every smartwatch. The experience is kind of okay, and the battery life sucks. Smartwatches are still a gimmick as of now. Until they get some serious functionality and a decent battery life, it will always be an unneeded gimmick. And you're right, it's an unneeded product, but uh, it's not necessarily a gimmick in the case of certain smartwatches. Like, for example, the way Android Wear handles notifications, and for example, the way the Apple Watch handles fitness. I just wish we could merge them together. Tuesday, we were talking about some rumors of the Huawei Nexus. We heard of an 128 gigabyte option, and I asked you if more storage would entice you to choose between this one or the LG Nexus 5X. We have 318 comments we heard from one of them saying 32 gigs is adequate for me, but the price needs to reflect the specifications, and that is the case for most smartphones. But it's odd, right now if you want to get 32 gigabytes, you actually have to get a flagship. And it's just sad that these are not expandable. Huawei Metal Design and Fingerprint Scanner plus stock Android, awesome phone. I get it that regardless if you get the storage or not, you'll care about it. And true, but I would care about the storage. The Nexus 5X sounds almost perfect judging by the rumors, but they better have a 64 gigabyte option option at the very least, or I won't be buying one, and I guess you will not be buying one then, dude. Sorry. On Wednesday, I asked you if you cared if the Galaxy S7 had a Snapdragon 820 or an Exynos processor, as the rumors are that uh, Samsung is working on a Snapdragon 820 processor with Qualcomm that's rather unique. Uh, we had 589 comments we start with. Doesn't matter anymore. Samsung has done a fantastic job. They won the ship war this year. They haven't necessarily won it, but they figured out a way to optimize everything, and that was a really good thing. I would personally prefer if the S7 came with an Exynos. That way, Samsung uh, could uh, better optimize the phone. We can also hold Samsung solely responsible for any issues as well. You know, it's funny. In the past, Snapdragon processors on Galaxy phones would perform better. This is the first time that we don't have a way to compare. So it's really hard to know if that Snapdragon 820 would have been better, but we do know why Samsung did not choose the Snapdragon 810, which would have been the case. I want to see more alternatives to Snapdragon Rising. It doesn't do us any good to have Qualcomm as a complete monopoly. And I love your comment. This is so true. In the past, I was like, you know, uh, what's wrong with Qualcomm lately? But you're right. It's great for there to be competition out there, for these companies to drive their prices down and for us to get better options. On Thursday, Pebble surprised us with the Pebble Time round, and I asked you what you thought of this new round smartwatch. We had 434 comments. We start with Pebble Time Oreo. I guess you don't like it. Pebble Round is not that horrible, but it's two days of battery life is a major turnoff. And yes, I agree. One of the things that I liked the most about the original Pebble that I owned was battery life. And it is rather disappointing that uh, we have to compromise on this for a design that's not really any better. The Pebble Time Round has huge bezels, $250 price tag, only two days of battery life. Why not just spend 50 bucks more and get a Moto 360 2015? You're right, dude. And now that Android Wear works on the iPhone, then my God, what would be the point of the Pebble now? Uh, I do like the Pebble Time Steel a little, but the Pebble Time Round, my God, that bezel is just insane. I love to back Pebble. They're doing an amazing job, don't get me wrong. It's just that this design is really off. Finally, Friday was iPhone 6S Day. I asked you if you ordered one or were planning on doing so. We had 889 comments we start with. Watching on my 6S, definitely impressed with from a 5S upgrade, and no wonder, dude, that's a major upgrade. Not a worthy upgrade from the 6S Plus. The only thing that's cool is Force 3D Touch, which doesn't appeal enough to me to make me upgrade from the 6S, 6X Plus. And I agree with you, up to the point where I haven't upgraded my iPhone 6. I was about to say I haven't upgraded my 6, but that doesn't sound right. But you get my point. I don't want to sell me kidney. I'm waiting for the Nexus 5X, and you make a solid point. 
The iPhone is a premium phone. We've got good flagships out there, but a lot of companies are coming up with great alternatives for 300 bucks lately. The OnePlus 2, we've got the Nexus 5X, we've got great phones from Oppo and Motorola. So it becomes even more difficult now to want to consider an iPhone. It just becomes a fanboyistic thing now. In my case, I'm with a G4 right now from LG and I really don't want to switch. I like the phone enough, but uh, I guess that's not the case for everyone. That's it for the Bogganow Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.